Mm. Well, good afternoon, all. This is a cartridge solution place and cartridge academy. I still remain Biodo. I would like just to hint on a, a very important uh, factor that is affecting uh, cartridge farmers, mostly uh, the breeders, uh, those are the hashers. Uh, is what we call the him breed. Uh, because of we lack uh, technology in the country as present, uh, we have been having issues on him breeding. Him breedings are, uh, are their genetics, which is uh, when we call. Uh, Catfish siblings, when a catfish is meeting with their siblings. The disadvantage of inbreed is that one, there's no inbreed catfish that doesn't have that, uh, what's that called, the energy because of the, uh, uh, because of the uh, genetics uh, offsprings to retain some stress. So mostly, when you have an inbreed fishes, they normally dies. If they even come out, they dies a lot. They don't stay. They hangs. They don't have that strength to carry on in the process. So, but we are having the challenges, most especially breeders. Uh, most of the breeders, inbreed do comes from blue stocks that we use. So. My question sometimes is that if you are hatching and if you are using blue stock, how are you sure that your blue stocks are not really coming out from their siblings? Maybe it's not the same parent that gives birth that produces those two fishes. When you are encountering those kind of a problem, as a breeder, you may be hatching and hatching and hatching, you never have results. You may test all your waters, you will never have results. When your fishes come out, the third day after hatchery, they started dying. In a week, they started dying. In two weeks, they started dying. Sometimes in a month, they started dying. Sometimes even in the grow out system, those that can retain it to like two, two months, they started dying. Lots of ways we can do it as a person that I think some archers are really trying a lot to do. One, if you have blue stocks or you want to purchase a blue stock or you want to get a blue stock for archers that says, let me go and so there are some archers that I know that when they hatched, they picked their jumpers. Once they pick their jumpers, they put it in the blue stock pond and started raising it as their blue stock. One, if you are doing that, that means you are using a fish that of the same genetics with same parents and they are giving an offspring which relates back to an inbreeding. So I don't advise you to take male from your farm and female from your farm if you are not sure if the fishes are coming from. But sometimes to be safer, I sometimes advise if it is possible for you to go to other farms to get your female blue stocks. One, you may go to other states to get female blue stocks, or you can identify the fishes. There's way the, the, the fishes you can identify them. They have different types of them. So you look at this now. Please look at this black color. Yeah, you can see I got this somewhere. Is you can see them, they are not of the same species as the other ones, so they are different. So, if one can get that, that kind of a fish to me, conveniently, you can hatch and save that you are not using an inbreed fishes. So, this is what you can do again you can go to other states or exploit other farms, check, identify if the all springs are not the same you can buy it and use it you see the most ever uh, part of it is that if you want to avoid inbreed uh, the safer part is when you test it you take it to a lab to test it there's a uh, a 
we call it uh, uh, there's a machine as a kit that we use in testing it. That is the same they used to in testing human for DNA. It's the DNA test machine. But how many of it is available? Or how many farmers can invest on it? This is another a wake up call for anybody that is looking for any business to tap into. If you can get that, that kit, I don't think it's too expensive. And note, in that kit, you are not using all the parameters the kit has. You are just checking the genetical type, just to check the genetic uh, 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 part of it to measure if the springs, the inbreed of the springs are coming, of the offsprings are coming out from this available. Uh, I think the best option is to be to get it at the server side. To get your, uh, what is it called? You can get it from the white. Fine. Yes, I was talking to a professor, a professor yesterday, and he said he needed uh, a trubancus, uh, longifelis. So, and uh, I I contacted a farm at uh, Oweri, so that he can pick it up because it's in Portacot, so that he can pick it up from the farm at Oweri. He, I we now discover that how am I sure? That is a pure etrobancus if they hatched it in the farm. That he wants to produce an etrobancus and is afraid to have an inbreed. So by the time we now rob us, I now advise him to go to the wild. There's a river bank that he can go to that they might catch etrobancus. Be there and get it from them. That is, you can be rest assured that you are getting. And other springs, and other genetic types, parents coming from the wild. So sometimes, if you can get your male from the wild, to me, it's better. It is very, very good. Why it is very, very good is that so you as a farmer will not count yourself as a failure. You will not be hatching every time and you are failing, and you can be giving your client a very good result. We normally try at our own part here. To make sure we do things at our server side based on my knowledge so i think this information and more will be coming on this uh, particular topics i'll be giving you more on this particular topics will be coming on very very soon uh, for now i need to attend uh, some little challenges in the other part so i will employ you, enjoy you again to uh, subscribe to my youtube page to follow us on our instagram page follow us on our twitter page uh, follow us on our box post uh, pages and most especially our uh, our what's it called our facebook page that means we have catfish solution academy but our youtube page try to subscribe on our youtube page there and press the notification button so because we upload videos there every day every day we upload videos there so if you click on it you'll be enjoying most of our teachings video most of our practicals videos do you really want to go into this business how can you do it how can you survive in it what are the funding system you want to have do you need a tarpaulin system fine we get we we'll do it for you we we'll get professionals around us that will use our brain and mentorship to guide them on how to do a very solid one for you that is one use a false great tarpaulin for you that can use at least five years guarantee that you will not have any hole in your tarpaulin fund Two, do you need a concrete pond, a very lasting concrete pond that